it's a difficult choice. Uh, you have to be very proactive. Um, you have to attend the presentations, understand what, this, what the lab or scientist uh, working on, and uh, you have to be really excited about uh, the, the problems that are being solved or addressed in, in that particular um, laboratory. Um, sometimes uh, it's not you who finds the lab, but the lab finds you, or the life circumstance may be such that coincidentally you, 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 you get in the right place. Um, it's bad to be um, in a place which you don't like, uh, and it's better to um, move on and find something that is really um, uh, synergistic in terms of your interests and the interests of your mentor. So when um, trying to find a lab home for a postdoctoral position, um, I would say first, make sure you set your sights farther than just that postdoc. See what it is you want to do in life after that, what it is that you want to do when you grow up and you're, you're older than being just a postdoc. Do you want to stay in academia? Do you want to go to an industry? Um, is it that you want to go into law? What exactly it is that this postdoc is going to help you position for? So remember, you have a career trajectory and make sure that the lab that you want to join is going to position you on that trajectory. If you want to go into an industry, it may be worth your while to do an industry postdoc uh, that not only um, gets you acclimated to the environment, but also to the industry culture. Um, if you want to go to an industry, one aspect also perhaps is to go to a mentor who's had several mentees uh, find their way into the industry. Um, obviously, knowing people on the inside helps. If you want to go into academia, you know, define your direction of your science that you want to pursue beyond your postdoc and see if um, you can find a lab that supports that. Also, make sure that your mentor is aware of your aspirations and is supportive of your aspirations into becoming an independent uh, principal investigator. I think you have to know yourself and know what you need to get out of it and what your goals are. When I started graduate school, there was one particular lab I was very interested in. But once I got there, I decided it was too big. I was afraid I'd get lost. It was more important for me to find a smaller lab well suited to where I was at my own training stage. It's really important uh, when you're choosing a lab uh, to go to that you obviously visit that lab and, and speak to the people not just the, the, the PI, but uh, you should definitely talk with all the other people in the, in the lab, as, well, as many of them as you can. And uh, you, know, you need to make sure that it's not just the, the, the right project, that it's the, uh, it's the project and research that interests you, but you also need to make sure that you're going to fit in personality-wise.